Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick Aldi fill-in haul. I spent about $87 in some change. You won't see a lot of produce this haul because it really looked terrible. I've never seen Aldi produce look so bad. But anyway, I found some new stuff, so let me jump right in. So I did grab some of their peppers. Um, a couple of the bags were kind of molded and old looking. These were the best of the bunch, so I grabbed them just to have for different meals. I grabbed some of these pork dumplings. I've never seen these before. These were in the refrigerated section. They also had beef flavor and the beef flavor uh, was made with tofu. I didn't want that, so I grabbed these pork dumplings with gochujang sauce, which is a spicy Korean sauce. I grabbed some spicy Italian dry salami. I've really been into dry salami lately. Crackers and cheese and dry salami, mm -mm, what a good snack. Um, I also grabbed this. I have never seen this before, hot ham trio. So you might not be able to see it on camera, but you can see um, that the ham is a little has a little bit of a red tint to it and I've never had hot ham and it sounded really good to me. There's also some provolone in there, and then there's also some salami right under there as well. So I wanted to give that a try. I grabbed some cheddar brats for Howard. Usually I get the Johnsonville. Um, I've never tried the Parkview. So I grabbed these for him. And then I also grabbed just some uncured beef franks. I don't think I've ever bought them before either, but I've been craving hot dogs grab some um, uncured ham just to have to snack on. And I also need some for a recipe as well. They had their seasonal chocolate out. I haven't seen this before, but this is um, Swiss milk chocolate uh, with waffle cones in it. And then they had this apple pie with apple pie, I guess, filling. And then they had another one that I didn't get, which was dark chocolate peach cobbler. So I didn't grab that because um, we're really not that big into dark chocolate, so I didn't grab it. Grab some button mushrooms. And this was new to me too. I've never seen their butter before. So um, they had two different flavors of seasoned butter. Um, I grabbed both. So this is garlic Parmesan. It's a three ounce package. And then I grabbed this one, lemon herb. And they both sound really good to me. I am a sucker for all the Asian um, sauces. And so I am trying out this sweet and savory sriracha teriyaki wok sauce and the um, sesame teriyaki. They both sound delicious to me. Got a couple of different cheeses for my husband. He likes to snack on them. So I got him smoked Gouda and then a double smoked cheddar. I really like this spreadable extra sharp, well not extra sharp, but sharp cheddar cheese. I love to eat with crackers and lunch meat. And then I got this for Harrison. I've not seen this before either, but these are little mini bars, like mini cereal bars. They had strawberry and they also had apple. Harrison, and that is my toddler, he really likes um, these fiber bars too. And at one point they were really hard to find. So I just buy them three at a time now just to make sure that we have them. I grabbed some um, popcorn, sea salt popcorn. And then I grabbed some of these Pringles for my son as well. And then these are a new item. I think they're just like a seasonal type thing. But this shrimp trio, you get five shrimp flutes, which are right here. You get uh, phyllo or phyllo wrapped shrimp right here. And then these are shrimp bites and they sounded pretty tasty. And then um, the last thing I grabbed was their jasmine rice. They've actually changed, I feel like they've changed the packaging for this rice. It's not as sturdy as it used to be, but needed some and we use a lot of jasmine. So this is everything that I picked up on my quick Aldi fill-in haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.